<sighs> Hello. Good morning, Mr. Fisher. I'm calling you to let you know today is your final day on Earth. Mr. Death wants to meet you. Please present yourself to a public area between the hours of 10 and 11 a.m. What? What the fuck? Between 10 and 11 a.m. Please be present. What do you mean? This is fucking ridiculous. Who is this? I'm Mr. Death Secretary. If you want your loved ones to live out their destinies, Mr. Fisher, you'll come to the scheduled meeting. My loved ones? All right. Where should I go? Someplace public. Wherever it's convenient for you. A cafe, a park, or any other place of your choice. Am I going to die there? Mr. Death is required to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Have a great day, Mr. Fisher. Good morning, Mr. Fisher. How are you? Unfortunately, as you've been told, today is it. As you see, your facts have been forwarded to me. And I'm here to ask, where do you wish to die? Do you have any last requests? This is insane. Why me? It's not my time to die. I have a child. I want to see her grow up. That's life, Mr. Fisher. I'm not the decision maker, only doing my job. I'm a good man, a Samaritan. At least I try to be. I'm always thinking of others. In fact, right now, I'm working on some new software that will benefit humanity. Yes, I know. You're a famous programmer. You've done many applications improving human life and safety. You've been a positive person in your life. I've already examined your profile. So, if you've done that, then why me? Isn't it there in black and white? Why should I die? Where did I go wrong? I've always tried to be that perfect someone for my family, for my friends, for my co-workers. I don't understand. What happened to God's justice? This is justice, Mr. Fisher. It's not. You have sufficiently displayed your benevolence. I'm absolutely sure you've been a righteous person in life. Round of applause, as everyone would. But this is the reason why you're dying. Good men die first, Mr. Fisher. People make ends meet on earth. When their good deeds wins over the bad ones, they step into another role. You should feel happy that your good deeds have been triumphant. I know a 106-year-old man who's far from you spiritually. I don't want to die. Because of your life character reference, you have until 6 p.m. this evening to bid your farewells. I will come find you wherever you are. I have some business I have to take care of. The check's on me. The old man picked your pocket. Hello? Hi, it's me. What do you want? Can I see her today? Has it been a month already? No, it's only three weeks. But can I please the see her? The court's ruling. 
is once a month. Guess what? You're out of luck. But it's an emergency. I told you as the court has ruled. Please, can you be sweet for once and let me see her? Listen, sugar, I can be much sweeter Mommy, after I call the cops. Can I ask okay, her okay, her? call the fucking cops. Mommy, Just let me talk she's to her. She's not home. Mum, it's me. Who? What do you want? I just called to hear your voice and to see how you're going. I'm fine and no. I went to the doctors yesterday. I have arthritis. I have troubles with my eyesight and guess what? He cannot figure out what's wrong with me. I tell him my problems and he doesn't hear me. He tells me it's old age. Who does he think he is? I'm not that old. I might be grey but I'm still not old. Why does everyone who sees... Hello, this is Herman Fisher. I'm calling to let you know that I won't be coming to the office anymore. Also, I'm sorry for not being able to give you two weeks notice. the life of another? Oh, for tell you what happened to me. I'm going to take you to the doctor. Fisher, I'm glad you didn't die of alcohol poisoning. You have a clever child. You know, our children live our reality more than we do.
Are you ready, Mr. Fisher? First, can you answer some questions? Yes, indeed. What will happen to me in the afterlife? I mean, after I die? I don't know. I've never been there. What do you mean? Earth is my working place. I've never been there. So, how are you going to kill me? I'm not going to kill you. Don't address it like that. I'll just remove you. Okay. How the fuck are you going to remove me? In effect, I don't do anything. This is just a computer program. I press a few buttons. You know, this software is very similar to the one you wrote for Sam Corporation. I want to know how it all works. I get the message profile of the passenger on my cell phone. I press the transfer button, then move directly to him. Oh, you know this program better than me. I only remove them. You won't feel any pain, nothing. Have a nice trip, buddy. I'm no buddy of yours. Herman? Sir, I am so sorry. We did all that was in our power, but we couldn't bring him back. Your friend has passed away. You might like to have his belongings now. Thank <laughs> you. 